Hello, you two. I got something nice in the mail today. Let's see what it is. Bubble wrap. And this nicely taped up wrapped thing. Let's check it out. It is a new old stock hard drive. I got this for about $68. It's one terabyte. 32 megs of cache, 7200 RPM. And it is a Hitachi Ultra Star, which uh, were server grade hard drives, I believe. So they're pretty rugged. This is new old stock from, two from February 2010, as you can see. Let's just get another thing here. As you can see, it came in like a server hot swap sort of thing. Uh, this drive, I believe, is new old stock. I think it was listed used, though, but they were like, if they were used, they had very low hours on them. I forget what the case is, but it's a one terabyte drive at 32 megs of cache and 7200 RPM. And this is made in an era when Hitachi drives were still good. This was uh, 2010. I have two Hitachi one terabyte drives, just de just plain old desk stars from 2010 that are still working perfectly two years later in my main computer. So this should be a very nice upgrade to this really crappy, well it's not crappy, but really slow, 250 gig Western Digital hard drive. This is... This is one of the first SATA hard drives, the first generation SATA hard drives, where they basically put a SATA to IDE bridge on the board in the bottom of the hard drive. So it was still a very slow thing. And even on Linux, it's just slow. <laughs> very, very slow. So this will be a much, much nicer upgrade. Uh, and it was cheaper than buying a 500 gig new. So I figured, why not? Get this one off of eBay. These things are... This one was definitely a killing at $68. Alright, I got the drive out of its enclosure. This is what it came in. This thing here it had this sort of laying in the bottom there. And there is a SATA backplane board right there. So it's literally just like a regular hard drive. Nothing real special about it, except that it's not a Seagate, and I'm very happy about that. Although what I find very odd is that it has... Uh, Molex on it still, even though this is a 2010 hard drive. That's really weird. I don't know if that's something they do with server grade drives or not, but I'm probably going to be using SATA power because it's there. I guess they do that for backwards compatibility with older servers or something. I have no clue. Either way, that's odd to see on a new on a newer hard drive. But I'm going to get to uh, putting this in here, and then I'm going to clone my 250 gig onto this thing. And we will have at it. Yeah, all right, the drive has been installed and plugged in and everything. Now I just need to go get another SATA cable so I can uh, clone Zilla this drive over to that one. And I will be, and I won't get rid of the caddy, by the way. Uh, I'm probably going to keep this. I don't know if I'll ever use it, but I'll keep it lying around just because it's, well, it's probably a nice piece of hardware. Especially since it's for servers, and I've never had server stuff before, and it's, it's cool. Anyway, <laughs> let's get to cloning this drive. Alright, I'm cloning the drives using Clonezilla right here, which uses part clone as part of its tool set. Not taking that long at all. Look at that. Nice and fast. drives down there. Oh uh, yeah. Cool. Well, the drive was cloned successfully. And it's in healthy condition as you can see. No bad sectors and it's only been powered on 17 times. It's practically brand new. So I don't think it was new old stock but it was pretty darn near close. This is looking really good. And it's and it started up much faster. Much, much, much faster. So that's pretty awesome. All I need to do is resize these partitions and we should be good. 
because for some reason it just doubled the size of every single one of them. I don't want an 85 gigabyte root partition. <laughs> so I gotta resize that and then it'll be good. But other than that, that's an upgrade to this machine. It should be much, much faster. And it is much faster. Alright, I booted up Ubuntu 10.04 from a USB stick and now I'm resizing these partitions. Listen to that drive go, it's kinda loud. Yeah, it's a pretty loud hard drive because <laughs> it's a server grade hard drive. Look at that, G parted doing its thing. Remember when Linux used to look like this? Those were the days, man. GNOME 2 was the best. I miss it. Now I use Cinnamon, as you saw in previous videos, but there you go. This is going to take a while. Two hours just to resize all this crap, so I'm not going to bore you guys with another video. It's a, new, it's a bigger hard drive. It's a nice upgrade. I'm pretty happy with it. So I'll let this thing go, and well, there you have it. Hope you enjoyed the video, and have a good one, everybody. Ciao.